So today we're going to be working on learning about the art of Tatsushika Hokusai. And he was one of the great masters of Japanese art. So one of the things that you'll notice when you look at his artwork is there's a lot of contour lines. So I just do this simple little lesson where you make three organic shapes on a piece of paper. And then you're just going to do a contour line drawing around each one. The key to getting it really interesting is following the contour around each rock, because we're pretending these are rocks. And then when you do the first one, you move on to the next one. This is the key, because if you just keep going around one and you finish all of it, then you won't get that really cool contour lines like you do in a Japanese rock garden. So now that we have the first ones drawn, we move on back to our original rock. Now it's also important to try to make sure that you're keeping them the same distance apart. Now if you make a little mistake and it moves off a little bit, that's okay. Don't get upset. Just take your time and follow around. Now normally I would do this in pencil with my students, but I find that the Sharpie does show up a lot better in videos. So you just keep going around and around. And this is typically a lesson that I do before I go any further into our Japanese art studies where we go on to make landscapes and then we also when I move into ceramics with them sometimes we'll make some Japanese uh, pots for bonsais. Now notice how close this is together. That's not really enough room to do the lines properly so then this is where the fun part starts. You go around again, but now we've got this new contour. Now this is really a tricky concept here. A lot of times the kids will try to keep going in and squeeze it out, but then they don't get that same distance apart. So now this becomes one contour. So I'm going back to my original rock. And when you get to the outer edges, that's when you're going to find yourself going off the edges of the paper. Now, looking in here, I could try to squeeze through, but it wouldn't work properly. So again, I'm going to make a new contour in here. And remember, we're still trying to keep that distance the same. So now, my contour goes around the entire set of rocks. And if you're having trouble understanding the concept, try to think about, like, say if you went to a pond and the water was really super still. When the water is really still, if you were to drop three pebbles into the water, imagine what it would look like when those ripples just continue out. So now here, I'm just going to continue around and I'll just finish up this little section here. Now sometimes when you get to this point it's easier to just finish out and get really close to that edge there. But you want them to remember that you're just following that shape and that's basically the definition of the contour is to follow that shape around and Notice I'm starting to turn my paper because sometimes, sometimes it's just easier to turn your paper rather than twisting your wrist around in a funky direction. And see, even here I made a mistake and I got a little too close, but that's okay. Mistakes happen and guess what? That's how we learn. 
Now the other thing I do with my students is as we work through this unit, after we sketch out our Hokusai inspired landscapes, the next step is before I let them paint, we will look up their name and get a Japanese translation for the students and then we put their name on their paper in Japanese using the Japanese characters and then from there they would paint. And last year our school was lucky enough to perform out at Disney Springs. It was our students in our Disney musicals in the school production and so we went out and see this really comes out pretty cool. We went out and they performed and so we went and took them to Epcot afterwards and what was really interesting was all of the third graders, because this is a third grade project I do, all of my third graders had their names written in Japanese and they really enjoyed talking to the cast members there about how they were learning how to do Japanese art. So I hope you enjoy my Hokusai-inspired contour line drawing lesson.